Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of our family favorites for the holidays. We have a Christmas party coming up this weekend and I make these, I call them Christmas crack cookies. They're made with saltines and chocolate and tons of butter and sugar and they are oh so delicious. And one of my favorite things about it is you can put different toppings on top of the chocolate. You can use different type of chocolate, so milk chocolate, white chocolate and kind of tweak it to what you and your family love. And this is actually super fun to do with the kids because they can help you put on the topping. So let's get started. All right, so first thing you wanna do is line your baking sheets with foil. It's a little bit of work because you do have to usually use more than one sheet of foil. Um, you see here how I have them pieced together, but you definitely wanna do this because otherwise you'll have a crazy, crazy mess. And then the next thing you do is spray it with some cooking spray, like butter cooking spray, okay? All right, so then you're gonna take your saltines and you're just gonna to want to line them up with just a little teeny bit of space in between. All right, so I have all my crackers lined up and they are salt side up, okay, that is key. You wanna turn your oven to 350 next. All right, so next you're gonna melt one cup of butter in a saucepan. Make sure you use like a nonstick saucepan. I have these toxic free um, safe nonstick pans from Caraway that I love. Um, to that one cup butter, you're gonna add one cup light brown sugar. Don't go skimpy here, these are cookies. If you're gonna make a dessert, make a dessert is my motto. I'm gonna give that a good mix around and just want it all to melt and try not to stir it too much. All right, once it starts to boil, let it boil for three minutes and resist every, every, every urge to stir it. Trust me on this. So once it starts to boil, let, it, so once it starts to boil, do not stir it anymore, okay? It needs to boil for three minutes, just like this. All right, so next we're gonna pour the liquid over the saltines. Kind of spread it so it starts to soak it. And if you are doing two big cookie sheets like I am, you definitely want to double up the recipe. So instead of the one cup of butter and sugar, I am using two, which trust me, you probably do want to make two trays of this. This goes so fast, you just won't even believe it. Next, you wanna bake them for five minutes and then we're gonna pull them out and add the chocolate. So one of the reasons I love making these cookies is they completely remind me of my childhood. Growing up, we had a wonderful neighbor named Linda. She made these every year and would drop them off to our house and my sisters and I would literally fight each other for them. And I always thought, oh my gosh, she must slave away all day making these cookies for the entire neighborhood. And as I got older, and made them myself, I thought, oh my gosh, these are so easy, so fun. You can make them so many different ways. All right, so my first tray is out of the oven and I'm gonna add some milk chocolate morsels on top. All right, and now I'm gonna pop this back into the oven for two more minutes. All right, while well, our first one is baking for those two minutes, I'm gonna do my second sheet. This one is gonna be a white chocolate peppermint, so I'm using white chocolate morsels on this one. And again, you can get as creative as you want with these. Uh, these are just two of my family's favorites, is we're gonna do a chocolate with 
pecans and sea salt. And then this is gonna be a white chocolate peppermint. Back in the oven for two minutes. All right, so now once you pull them out of the oven, you just wanna take your spoon and kind of help to spread the chocolate. All right, after you let it set in the fridge, it's gonna come out like this. The easiest way to get it to break up into cookies, I think, is you kind of start on one end and lift it up out of the pan. I'm gonna start that again. All right, so once you let it harden in the fridge for at least 45 minutes, kind of pull it out from the pan. That way you can use the foil to start breaking it up in chunks. So there's, it's not gonna be uniform, but you'll see you're gonna make whatever size you want. And that's all there is.